Nikki Patterson with the Child Advocacy Center tells me a lack of state funding is why Thompson wasn't put behind bars here two years ago. That's when we're told a cyber tip led to more disturbing charges, including sexual torture of a six-year-old girl. Nikki Patterson, a prosecutor with the Child Advocacy Center, is starting out the year with a case that involves a horrendous accusation. Agents with the Alabama State Bureau of Investigation's Special Victims Unit arrested 41-year-old Brian Thompson yesterday in Grand Bay on charges of rape, sodomy, sexual torture, and several counts of possession and production of child pornography. But Patterson says Thompson should have been behind bars a long time ago, back in November of 2015, when the alleged abuse of a six-year-old girl started. Our state didn't provide the funding to find out what was on this computer. Clearly frustrated, Patterson explains why she thinks state investigators didn't look into Thompson until now. This was submitted in Montgomery and it sat there. Our forensic investigators, the people who go in and review the computers, uh, that's a section of our government that is massively underfunded. Patterson says in 2015, state investigators received a cyber tip that Thompson was allegedly uploading child porn. That led to more physical abuse charges after investigators say they found several images on Thompson's computer inside his Grand Bay home yesterday. A discovery Patterson says should have been dealt with two years ago. You know, the state of Alabama seized evidence that we couldn't analyze and so a child was left in a very vulnerable situation for two years and, and that just keeps me up at night. Again, Thompson is here in Metro Jail tonight. We're told he should appear for a bond hearing tomorrow. Reporting live in Mobile, Alexa Knowles, Fox 10 News.